In this video, I tried selling clothes for a night at my friend's shop in Jakarta, Indonesia. And being a salesman is already difficult enough. But what made this challenge even more difficult was, I could only use Indonesian, no English. Nonetheless, I was ready to try my hand at selling clothes in the crazy night markets of Jakarta. I had some successes, and I had some failures too. But how did I do overall? Stay tuned to find out. Okay. So just a little bit of context, uh, we were gonna go get food, but my friend's employees wanted to take a selfie first. So of course, you know, we took a quick selfie. Ini untuk bikin vlog aja. Oh, bisa pakai foto gitu. Iya, untuk vlog aja. Nanti udah cari Halo semuanya. Ya, mau iklan gratis? Obviously, the night market wasn't open yet, so we decided to go get some food first and refuel, and then also check out the town a little bit. Hello, Samonia. Selamat datang ke mobil buaya. Jakarta is a really big city, and it has a lot of public transportation options. Unfortunately, these public transportation options don't follow your usual time schedule, but rather jam karet, or we'll show up when we feel like it. Honestly though, most people end up just driving a car or using a motorbike. Because of this, Jakarta has a terrible reputation for traffic jams and congestion. My friend Jamil brought us to a place called Joni Steak, which was a western-style restaurant in Jakarta. Let's see how Indonesia's western food stacks up against food back home in the US. Yeah, I was quite surprised about this place actually. They had all sorts of stuff as you can see. Chicken schnitzel, chicken cordon bleu, pasta dishes, really anything you could want. They had salmon, steaks, obviously. It's like a steak place, they have fish, Italian food, everything. Tea bottle basically just means tea bottle. Uh, it's essentially just sweet iced tea, just for clarification. So here we had the spaghetti dish, and then of course we had my salmon dish too. Unfortunately, I got interrupted. We were uh, taking a picture, uh, but it was actually a good photo. It ended up pretty well. Here's that photo if you're interested. So yeah, this was both my dishes. I had a chicken pesto pasta as well as the salmon with potatoes and vegetables and whatnot. Huh? Definitely different from a typical Italian pasta, but uh, quite good. Cheesy, a little salty. Good for the Western taste. Ada beda, tapi masih enak. Yeah. Mungkin keju ini beda. Yeah. Salmon and potatoes. grilled salmon yeah it's good very standard I don't know if there's any spice in this but I wonder where this is from let's try the potato wedges mm. just like a french fry that was really good that uh, came to about 500,000 rupiah for all of us like roughly $30. It's a great place if you're looking to satisfy that Western food craving. There's a lot going on around me right now, sorry. But yeah, um, food was good. Uh, as the Italian food goes, it's okay. Um, the steak was good. So I actually tried some of my friend's steak that time, but Jamil and I ended up going back to that restaurant and I got the actual steak with black pepper sauce and that was really good. Alright, now we go back 
to the street where I shall become an employee of her shop. And then I shall sell all the clothing. Just kidding, we're back at Kota Tua once again. Kita ketemu lagi Kota Tua. Dulu saya coba sepeda itu. Sepeda. Yeah. Tapi naik sepeda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bisa. Saya suka sekali kayak gitu, ya. Yeah. I tried that before, guys. I rode that bike. We're back, guys. We're back at Kota Tua. Tapi rame. This is definitely the local hangout spot on a uh, on a Saturday evening. As you can see, everybody's here, chilling, hanging out, nongkrong. We're just having a good time here, all of us, just chilling with my new friends. Memperkenalkan diri, guys. Johan. Johan. Inel. Jangan malu. Jangan malu. Inel. Inel. And tentu saja abang saya Jamil. <laughs> it's always a good time to enjoy music here, guys. Okay, guys. I'm here at the Jakarta sign in Kota Tua. I don't know if this is special or not. I don't think it is. I think it's just literally a Jakarta sign like this. But yeah, I don't really need to get any closer. I think this is acceptable. Um, just walking around with my friends though, you know, just hanging out. Behind that is the station Jakarta for the train, in case you wanted to go there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Sama Linguini. Siap guys, terima kasih. Duduk aja dulu kali. Ya kenapa panas? Panas sekali ini. We've entered the central square here. It's a little bit quieter now because it's getting dark, but uh, still really nice here to hang out. I ate at that restaurant before, Cafe Batavia. That's where I had my Soto Batawi. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, we're going back to the street where we were before. I'm gonna become a salesman of clothes and attempt to sell to the locals, help out the local business. My friends, local, my new friends, local business, selling clothes and whatnot. So let's try that out. Hopefully it won't be too dark. Should be no problem. I'm gonna be selling clothes at this shop here using my Indonesian. Let's see if I can convince anybody to buy stuff. I'll try my best. I shall try. Lots of clothing here, mostly for ladies. Just like any good salesman would do, I had to get my warm up exercises in first, as you can see here. <laughs> Not many customers yet. Where are all the customers? Oh, yeah, I think so. I'm going to go to the 
At this point, I was no longer the salesman, but rather the entertainment for the evening. At this point, I tried what they suggested and decided to have a seat and see if I could maybe sell any clothes while sitting down. Hello, Mba. Selamat pagi, Mba. Belanja dulu. It's not going great, guys. I'm not doing a great job. Everybody's too shy. Well, I was doing a good job of getting the ladies to smile back at me, but unfortunately, as far as sales go, I had only gotten one sale so far. We've got one customer so far, so not bad. It's better than nothing, right? Keep trying, guys. Samanga. Maybe I should have asked that guy for help. Uh, okay, actually, never mind. He also got rejected. It seems like we were all just having a stroke of bad luck this evening. Maybe I'm not cut out for this, I don't know. 
This might be the end. Maybe I'll get somebody else. We'll see. Well, sadly, I didn't get anybody else that evening, but I sure did have a lot of fun. Let me know what you thought. Am I going to be the next top salesman of Indonesia, or should I just go back to making my videos? Be sure to tell me down in the comments section below. Also, I'm sorry the filmography wasn't amazing in this video. This was my first time doing something like this, so I'm still kind of learning. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.